Candyland comp is very strong in the early game and middle game. But in the late game, they don't have enough damage. However, I have test Candyland team with Gangplank carry. This comp is very strong in the late game. Gangplank with just one spell cast kill entire enemy team. So, how to build the Candyland team the right way? The perfect comp for this team should be Poppy, Twisted Fate, Joey, Ari, Syndra, Lux, Velcos, Wukong, Gangplank. Or sometime, you can replace Velcos by Zerath. Also, if Gangplank can get to level 2, and has perfect items on him, so considering playing Gangplank with 8 sorcerers. Simply just replace Poppy, and Wukong by 2 other sorcerers champions left. In the early, find Poppy, Leona, Twisted Fate, Joey. Save as much as money as possible. And don't up your level. At the end of round 1, which mean after killing monster, before you naturally up to level 5. You should hyper rolling, try to find 3 star 1 unit cost. Which is Poppy, Leona, Joey, Twisted Fate. When you get to level 5, should keep your gold above 50. Earn much as interest as possible. And up level by any gold above 50 gold. From level 5 to 8, put these champions in, Ari, Syndra, Valkos, Lux. Any champion that you can get them to start first should be in the team. By the time, you get Wukong level 2, then you should put them into the game too. And, also sell Leona. At level 9, of course, Gangplank should be in the team, and upgrade his power in the shop. Also, Zerath is also powerful too, replace any champion like Ari, Sidra, or Velkos. At level 9. There are two ways to be considering. First 6 sorcerers with Gangplank, or 8 sorcerers with Gangplank. If you consider 8 sorcerers, then replace Poppy and Wukong by the missing sorcerers champions. 6 sorcerers with Gangplank is powerful and with tanky champion like Poppy and Wukong. Also, Wukong does a lot of crowded effect. Gangplank spell might kill entire team. 8 sorcerers with Gangplank is very powerful, one spell cast will definitely kill their entire team, but 8 sorcerers are missing tank champions. So, if you choose to go this way, making sure Gangplank won't die before he casts a spell. Let move to what item you should have. For Poppy, he should have Ionic Spark, Zrop Portal, and you should make Death Cap, Guardian Angel, and Seraph Embrace, put it on Ari, or Syndra, or Velkos, and when you find a Gangplank, sell them and put those items on Gangplank. For any items left, I would recommend go for Short of Stillness, Zephyr, and Redemption would be great. Put these items on Poppy or any champion that can easy move around. Also, Demolitionist Charge is very good to active Demolitionist trait. Put Demolitionist Charge on Velkos or Zerath because their spell can do so much stun effect. As I said before, Candy Land is very strong in the early and middle game, and Gangplank is strong in the late game. I play this comp 10 times, and I usually get to be the first player, 8 out of 10. Depend on if I can get Poppy, Joey, Twisted Fate 3 star or not. That is all my experiences I learned from play this comp so many times. If you have any advice or recommendation, please leave the comment below. Let's see how powerful Candy Land in the late game.
Please make sure you like and subscribe to see more video. Thanks for watching.